Hello everyone, hope you are all doing good. Today I am starting a new video series named a video book for virtual pilots and ATCs. In this video book I will be telling you about the important aspects of aviation which is also very much applicable to IBAO. Today I will be telling you about transition altitude and transition level and also about their importance. So without further delay, let's get started. So first uh, we will speak about height, altitude and flight level. The height is the vertical distance of an aircraft above the surface, whatever the surface may be, maybe it's buildings, mountains or a lake. So height is generally expressed in feet above the ground level and in some countries it may be um, in expressed in meter also. Next we'll speak about altitude. So altitude is the vertical distance of an aircraft above the mean sea level. So for objects, landmarks and obstacles we use the word elevation and we don't use the word altitude so altitude and elevations both are expressed in feet or meters above the mean sea level next we will speak about flight level so what is flight level so the flight level is the vertical distance of an aircraft above the isobaric surface of 1013.25 hectopascals which is equivalent to 2992 inches of mercury. So this is uh, a compiled uh, table. Uh, here you can see whatever I told you. It's just compiled here in a very short way. Next let's uh, speak about transition altitude. So the transition altitude is the upper limit from the surface to use the local QNH altimeter settings applicable to all aircrafts so it can also be stated like it is the maximum altitude that an aircraft can fly with the local QNH also it is published in charts it is always broadcasted in the ATIS of an air traffic controller it is defined inside the associated terminal maneuvering area where it is published usually it is given in feet but it can be given in meter also in some countries and transition altitude abbreviation is defined by ICAO which is TA now let's talk about when there is no transition altitude published so there are a fields outside the TMA where there is no transition altitude published so for these are a fields the default transition altitude should be 3000 feet above the surface and it is denoted by height in this case there will be no transition level now let's speak about what transition level is. The transition level is the lower limit to use the standard or 1013 hectopascal altimeter setting applicable to all aircraft. So it can also be defined as it is the minimum flight level that an aircraft can fly using the standard QNH setting. So it is sometimes published uh, on the charts but not often. Usually it is uh, calculated by the air traffic controller in the function of a transition altitude and QNH. It is also broadcasted in the ATIS of an air traffic controller and is always given in flight level. The transition level abbreviation as defined by ICAO is TRL or TL. Now let's discuss about transition layer. Now transition layer is the airspace which is located in between the transition altitude and the transition level. The transition level thickness varies from uh, uh, country to country and is laid down as per the country regulation. So it can vary between 0 feet and 999 feet, between 0 feet and 499 feet, between 1000 feet and 1999 feet and between 1000 feet and 1499 feet. Now let's look at the altimeter setting change. The standard altimeter setting is mainly used and adapted for highest cruise altitude in order to maintain separation of all aircraft whatever their origin and destination airfield is. The altitude change at high flight level in function of local atmospheric pressure will be very slow and there will be very few influences. The local QNH altimeter setting 
is mainly used and adapted for the landing and takeoff procedures, low altitude routes close to the landmark and approach phase of the flight. With taking the same local reference, all aircraft altitudes are constant with a constant air pressure value. So separation is maintained and is guaranteed in this way. Now let's look into the climbing and descending phase. When a climbing flight passing through the transition altitude, the altimeter setting should always be changed from QNH to standard. Similarly, when a descending flight is passing through the transition level, the altimeter setting should always be changed from standard to QNH. So I hope you have liked the video. If you like the video, smash the thumbs up button. Subscribe to my channel to get regular updates and also comment to let me know if it was helpful for you. Thank you very much for watching and see you all very soon.